It's easy to invest when you have millions of dollars to work with, but what if you only had, say, $100? Can you still invest and build wealth? The answer is yes, but how you invest, especially at the beginning, will be different. Keep this in mind, okay? You're not the only person that's ever had to start from close to nothing. In fact, just like most people, I was at a point once in my life where I didn't even have $100 to invest. And even if I did have $100 to invest, I wouldn't have even known how to invest it to grow it. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you should invest. And by the end of this video, you will have a clear blueprint to start growing your money and building lasting wealth. There's the budget on the screen. Here's how you invest $100. Hey, really quick, there's an Easter egg hidden in this video somewhere. Whoever finds it first and comments what it is down below, I will permanently pin your comment on this video, okay? It's somewhere random, you have to look for it. If I were just starting out and I only had $100 to work with, the very first thing that I would invest in is a book, but not just any book. I would go and buy this book right here. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now, regardless of your stance on this book, I know for me personally that this book had a huge impact on the way that I think about investing and just money in general. And honestly, a huge part of investing and building wealth is having the right mindset. And that's something that this book will teach you. You see, because I could go and recommend a book such as security analysis to you, which will teach you the intellectual foundation of what would later be known as value investing. It's a dense book with lots of small text that will make you look very pretentious if you're caught reading it. <laughs> I am so smart. This type of book is not what's gonna help you. I mean, most of the information in this book you can just learn online for free anyways. But this book right here will change your attitude about money and building wealth in general. And what's even better is that the book is only gonna cost you $5 on eBay. Or if you wanted to, you could get a brand new copy on Amazon for $7, but since we only have $100 to invest, I'm gonna go with the pre-owned version from eBay and save $2. And so that right there, my friends, takes us down to $95 left to invest. So with $95 left, what should you do next? The next thing you should do is something that will cost you all of $0, and that's go to your favorite broker, and if you don't have one already, open up a Roth IRA. A Roth IRA is a type of individual retirement account that allows you to invest into the stock market and grow your money tax-free. If you don't already have a Roth IRA, IRA and you don't know where to open one, there are so many great options to choose from. If you wanted to invest in the stock market but have it be a completely hands-off experience, you could go with a robo-advisor like Wealthfront. Or you could go with a broker like Webull, M1 Finance, Vanguard, Fidelity if you wanted, say, a little bit more control over your portfolio. I've got links to all of these brokers down below in the description. Now, even if you don't plan on investing immediately, opening up a Roth IRA will cost you zero dollars and it's a step in the right direction. And the best part is, look at that, we still have $95 left to invest. And so with that $95, what should you invest in next? Now that you have your Roth IRA open, it's time to use some of your money to actually begin investing in the stock market. And so with $95 left, you should take 50 of that and invest it. I'd recommend investing that $50 into a low cost broad market ETF, something like the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF or VTI. And of course, that's not financial advice. <laughs> Don't be silly guys, she's watching. The great thing about VTI is that when you invest into it, you are immediately getting exposure to the entire US stock market. This of course includes top companies like Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, and Tesla. And you get exposure to all of those companies and over 4,000 other companies all by investing in just one single ETF. And so now you don't have to spend hours upon hours researching and trying to find the best individual stocks to invest in because you can literally just invest in all of them. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, Joshua, I just looked it up and VTI is currently trading at almost $200. If I only have $50 to invest, then how can I buy VTI for $200? Well, I'm glad you asked. Most brokers nowadays have something called fractional shares. A fractional share is when you own less than one whole share of a company. And so instead of owning one whole share of VTI at $200, you now own a fraction of that share. And so yes, you are investing in VTI, but with a fraction of a share. And so after this investment, you now have $45 left to invest. What should you invest this money into next? With $45, $5 left from our initial $100, you should take $35 of that and use it to either start a new business or learn a new skill. Now, before you start raging at me in the comments about how it's impossible to start any business or learn any skill with just $35, allow me just two minutes to prove a point. Learning a new skill that could potentially earn you millions of dollars in a lifetime, depending on how you utilize it and scale it, is possible for less than $35. In fact, for only $32, you can subscribe to a website like Skillshare for one month, or even better, because 
because you can get one month free using my link down below in the description, you could technically learn a new skill for free. But for the sake of this example, let's just say it's gonna cost you $35. Okay, so what about starting a business? Can you do that for only $35? Yes, in fact, most online businesses will cost you less than that to start. For example, you could start a YouTube channel with literally just your phone. And because you have $35 to spend on your YouTube business, you could take that money and go buy an entire lighting kit on Amazon. Or you could buy one of these ring lights. You can invest into something that's gonna make your videos better quality. And other than a cheap lighting kit, that's really all you need to start. Aside from the lights though, you've got your phone, which has a decent camera on it, your cheap lights that you bought on Amazon for under $35. And by using some books or a cereal box to prop up your phone, you can get started on YouTube and well on your way to earning potentially millions of dollars all from a $35 investment. And yes, what you just saw was recorded with my iPhone XR. Was that two minutes? I don't know, I guess I'll find out when I'm editing the video. But anyways, does that make sense? I understand that most of you watching don't wanna go and start a YouTube channel, that's just an example. But by being creative and resourceful, you would be really surprised with how much you could accomplish without having a lot of money. Okay, so we have $10 left to invest, what should we do next? And by the way, I hope that you've been looking for that Easter egg because it could be anywhere. And the first person who finds it and comments down below, I will permanently pin your comment on this video. So with $10 left, here's what I want you to do. Go to Bing dot com type in best high yield savings <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Don't use Bing, okay? Go to google.com, type in best high yield savings accounts and click on any of the top links. I'm personally gonna click on NerdWallet. From this page here, you'll see a table and you're just basically gonna find out which one of these banks pay the highest interest on savings. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of great options on this page and many of these banks do pay the same exact interest. It's just a matter of personal preference. I want you to choose the bank of your preference, go to that bank's website and then open up a free high yield savings account. This account is now officially your emergency fund. And that $10 that you have remaining will go into that account. Now, here's where things get juicy. I'm gonna address the elephant in the room. No, you cannot get incredibly wealthy by only investing $50 into VTI. Yes, it likely will take more than $35 to build and grow a successful business long term. And no, having just $10 in your emergency fund is not going to protect you from any emergency. In fact, only investing $50 into VTI and never touching it again is not going to have you waking up 20, 30, 40 years from now to your Roth IRA that's now worth millions of dollars from your initial $50 investment. If you invested $50 into VTI today, Day, which has given an average return of about 8.64% adjusted for inflation, we'll just call it 7%. After let's say 30 years, that initial $50 investment, if you just leave it alone, will have only grown to $400. But if you only have $100 to invest, taking half of that, opening up a Roth IRA and investing it into this ETF is a good start. And like I mentioned earlier, the hardest part of doing anything is just starting. And so if I can get you to invest even just $50 into the stock market, you'll realize, oh, this actually isn't all that bad. Maybe I'll invest $50 again next month and then again the month after that. And you know what? The next month I'll invest $100 because knowing that I'm investing my money and slowly building my wealth for the future is a really good feeling. And so you continue to slowly increase how much you're investing into your Roth IRA and then before you know it, you're retiring a millionaire. But it all started from that initial $50 investment. That's what gave you the motivation and the courage to actually start investing. And so what about starting the business or learning the new skill for just $35? When I first started my web development business, guess how much I spent to actually start it? $15. It costs $15 to upgrade your account on Upwork to Freelancer Plus, which gives you more connects, which allows you to submit more proposals to clients. And so just by investing $15, I was able to get my first three jobs that month, which of course gave me enough money to be able to keep my Freelancer Plus subscription. And then the next month I got six more higher paying jobs. And then it grew from there to a point where I was able to buy better equipment, my own website servers for hosting, better premium WordPress plugins, and different tools that allowed me to scale my business and reach much higher pay clients. When I started my first personal finance YouTube channel back in 2019, I already had certain pieces of equipment. I had a cheap camera, cheap lights. Honestly, looking back at it, I probably would have just been better off using my iPhone to record. But in any case, the only thing that I really needed to start my YouTube channel was some type of background. And this was long before the time that my office that you see now was actually my office. My office used to be a cold, damp basement that we use for storage. And so I went onto Amazon and I bought this exact $14 cheap brick backdrop because I was 
was trying to be like Peter McKinnon. But that $14 investment is what got me started on that YouTube channel. And if I'd never started that YouTube channel, then I would have never started this YouTube channel because that first channel is what gave me the desire and courage to want to do YouTube full time. And as this YouTube channel continued to grow and I began making money, I continued using the money I was earning to buy better equipment for the channel to increase the quality even more because I want to give you guys the best viewing experience possible. But all of this that you see today started from that first channel with that $14 backdrop because that first channel, the experience that I got from doing that planted a seed inside of me. The same way that taking the leap and investing just $50 is going to plant a seed inside of you. Being creative and resourceful and finding a way to start a business for just $35, even if that business is not successful, you've still planted a seed inside of you that you can then take into your next business. The $10 emergency fund. Once again, it's a start. Now that you finally have the account opened, there's gonna be a lot less resistance to start saving and building up your emergency fund. But if you don't have the account open, then that's too much work. I'll just worry about it next month. I'll start saving next month. And you will always find excuses to continue pushing it off into the next month or into the next year, and you'll never actually start saving. But if you simply take the action to go and open up the emergency fund and deposit just $10, well, you've planted a seed. And now that the seed is planted, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to be committed to building that emergency fund because there's one less excuse in the way. There's one less obstacle. And so how do you invest with only $100? Well, you invest it into experiences. The experience of opening your Roth IRA and investing $50 into an ETF. The experience of starting a new business or learning a new skill for $35. The experience of opening an emergency fund and depositing $10 into it. And the $5 book, which will put you in the right mindset. All of these experiences are necessary and part of your journey. Because if you can't even invest and manage $100, what makes you think that you'll be able to invest and manage a million dollars? Just a thought. Now, perhaps you don't even have $100 to invest in the first place, in which case I recommend you watch this video right here where I show you how you can build wealth from $0. You guys are amazing and I will see you again very soon. Take care.